for um, to start the season. When, when did you find out you're going to be starting in front of the home crowd on Sunday? And as a, uh, as a soccer line native, how cool was it? Uh, what were your feelings and emotions like just being in front of this crowd against the Gamecocks? Yeah, so I found out um, Wednesday afternoon that I was going to get pushed back to Sunday and Hawks going to go Saturday. You know, just took it with a grain of salt and, you know, just started working for it this week, as I already was. So, um, but yeah, being a South Carolina native was crazy. Um, had the lineup that I didn't say I didn't have jitters running out there in the first inning, but uh, just had to stay calm, cool, and collected. So. Cooper, um, how cool was it to uh, extend your hitting streak to 11 with your first career home run there in the eighth? And were you thinking about the streak at all no, going into I, that at bat? had a streak going. I just go up to the plate and try to hit a ball hard and be on base for Briar. And, you know, I just happened to put a good swing on one and run into one and in a great moment in the series. So, Cooper, what did it mean for you guys to get the sweep on South Carolina in a, in a short way? Oh, a lot for sure. Um, you know, I think our team has a ton of chemistry this year. Everybody loves each other. Everybody, you know, the, I mean, all we want to do is win every single game. It's all we want. And to do it against, you know, a great team like South Carolina, that, that really says a lot about, about our will to win as a team. Nick, one of the keys to this series that we'll look back on was um, their inability to hit with runners on base, runners in scoring position. From a pitching staff standpoint, what did you and your fellow pitchers, what do you think you all did when they were in that situation to keep them at bay? Yeah, uh, it really just comes down to the ability to execute pitches in big moments. Uh, it's something we work on and preach about. Here, so um, honestly, that was the biggest part for me. And then obviously today, I think I had a runner on every single inning, honestly. And uh, it was huge to see that uh, a bunch of the guys just execute pitches. Yeah, uh, Coach Lee talked about you guys pounding the zone. Is that a different mentality than the past? Instead of maybe trying to be too fine, you guys are just going at hitters? Yeah. Um, for most of us, I wouldn't say so, but I, I agree with some of that on the, some of the guys. Some of the guys had to switch their mindset instead of let, let's go 110%, let's go 95% and get the first pitch strike, and then, then we can get attack hitters. Um, so the biggest thing for us is just, let's just pound our throw strikes. You know, it's a hard game. It's hard to hit. It's really hard to hit. So um, let's be on the attack the whole time. From your perspective, why do you feel like the pitch SF has got off to such a good start compared to maybe last year? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Throwing strikes one, and then uh, we have so many guys that we can use in so many different situations, and uh, we all trust each other and believe in each other, so nobody's trying to do too much. I think last year we got caught up trying to do too much, certain guys in certain situations. So this year is more of a let's just do what we can and then pass it to the next guy. <laughs> what's different for you guys, 11 0? What's different than what it was last year? What's working? Um, I mean, I just think. Obviously, I said the chemistry as a whole is, you know, bar none compared to last year. I mean, it, it's amazing. Everybody on this team loves each other. And it doesn't matter the, if you're in the starting lineup or you're sitting on the bench. Like, everybody's going to be involved every pitch, and everybody's going to root for you to do your best. Nick, I think you just had one start last year, but you still had a 6-2 and two record, which was you know, top 10 in the ACC. Uh, What's the difference just coming in out of the pen versus starting uh, from a mental standpoint? Um, honestly, I'd say it's a little bit more difficult just because come out of the pen, you don't know when you're going. Uh, it's kind of just a spur of the moment kind of thing. So starting, you kind of work up all day for it and just stay calm. That's been the biggest adjustment for me is just stay calm all day and save your energy for the big start. Point in the – sorry. Zendi, how much confidence does that give you that when you do get runners on, you can depend on your, you know, your guys around you to – able to not allow those to be converted to runs. Yeah, I mean, it's huge for me, um, especially as a starter, because you can trust the guys coming out of the pen and know that, you know, if uh, you get in a bad situation, they can come in and get you out of it, so. What do you think is the biggest difference in your offensive game just between the last three and now? I mean, the numbers are putting up pretty bonkers. I mean, I, uh, you know, obviously hit with, with Coach Lee and, and JB and McCrory every single day. And you know I've really uh, I've really nailed my process leading up to the game. Last year I didn't really have a process. You know we'd we'd stretch and then I'd I'd just go take reckless hacks in the cage, and you know that that really didn't benefit me one bit whatsoever. So this year I really in the fall especially, um, and even leading up to the spring I really wanted to lock in on a process. You know like 
certain things that I'm doing in the cage that are going to convert and translate to the game that, you know, is going to help me in the long run throughout the season. Nick, how much do you think uh, playing in the Fable Cape Cod League over the summer helped your development from last year to this? Uh, I mean, it was huge for me. <laughs> I met so many great people, learned so many things. You know, every day you're out there, you're playing against the best competition in the country. So uh, just getting to go against those guys and even learn from some of my teammates, it was huge for me, especially making the jump from uh, being a reliever to being a starter. Anything else? Cooper, how's, how's this guy's mustache compared to the other ones? It's all right. It's pretty good. I'll give it to him. It's pretty good. We got some good mustaches on the team for sure. Raleigh fingers. Any other questions?